Well, right now, crews are racing to finish work on the Formula One track, and this week, they've asked the county to cover 40 million of this $80 million project. Yeah, that's taxpayer money, yeah. and commissioners say they won't put up all that money, but at least some county dollars may actually be spent because of extra work underway. A News Out reporter Ryan Matthew joining us live at Flamingo in Koval with that dilemma. Ryan. Yeah, David, Denise, this stretch of Koval behind me here, it is scheduled for repaving starting this Sunday morning. But as you can see, it's already a construction zone over here. A lot of dirt, a lot of dust, a lot of construction cones. It's because there's utility work happening beforehand. F1 argues Clark County should put up that 40 million because it's work they would otherwise have to do themselves. And F1 is doing it much faster. Holes in the ground covered by steel plates, mostly, plague Coval Lane between Flamingo and Harmon. Narrowing traffic to one lane southbound, while these power lines are put underground. We're also doing a lot of utility work. As the Las Vegas Grand Prix prepares nearly three miles of publicly owned roads for November's race, they're also doing other work that would typically be the job of Clark County. That is a project that was going to happen anyway. As Las Vegas Grand Prix CEO Renee Wilm puts it, they're doing it sooner, provoking traffic headaches now rather than later. It has been accelerated as a result of our project, but again, it, the, those inconveniences would have happened in any event. We began work on that before. Uh, Formula One was in the picture. Its improvements, Clark County confirms, would have started in two to four years. And as Commissioner Chair Jim Gibson says, The part that we're not um, able to do is speed any of that up. It's because the Grand Prix is allowed to do this work under a permit issued by Public Works. If the department did it themselves, there'd be a governmental process that could take them months longer. Las Vegas Grand Prix, Liberty Media, is in fact paying for the work that is being performed to date. And now, months after this work began, F1 wants the county to pay for half of the project total, arguing there is a public benefit that lives on past the race. There's a significant public purpose related to the improvements to Clark County's roads that you all will own after those improvements. The county commissioner chair said the cost is in the ballpark of $11 million that they would have to pay over the coming years. It's unclear, though, if during the initial negotiations to actually bring the race here, if it was Clark County who asked F1 to do this utility work or F1 who offered it up. Reporting live at Flamingo and Koval, Ryan Matthew, A News Now.